I recovered Prothean data drives from Garbug. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with uh, any operation we have going. Thank you again, Commander. I appreciate the assist. Shepard, if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. That's hard to find these days. I suppose we could catch a Hanar poetry reading. Uh, no offense, but if the end of the galaxy is coming, I'm not going out on the phrase. This one feels like a flower. So? So, I had an idea. Somewhere when... The whole time. How about a dive? It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? I think that ride's been rough on you, Garrus. You got a new scar every time I see you. Losing a step there in your old age? <laughs> Raise your hand if you haven't been killed before. Touché. Now, before we head back, there is one thing. There are a few. Yeah, but I've actually... Long... Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But, technically, I died. Yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> I recovered Prothean data drives from Garbug. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with uh, any operation we have going. Thank you again, Commander. I appreciate the assist. Sergeant, I have a little brother. He went off planet to try and make money. Hung with a lousy crowd. A week before the Reapers, my brother sent me this excited message. He'd found an organization with lots of pay, benefits. He snuck me a photo of the shiny new armor they gave him. White and yellow armor, ma'am. Yes, Sergeant. Heard from your brother since then? No, Sergeant. <sighs> All right, Talavi. I'll see if I can get you fighting Reapers instead of Cerberus. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. You won't thank me so much when you're eye-deep in husks. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Zani. It's a low-gravity planet, toxic atmosphere. You'll be expected to maintain full survival gear. Any questions? Are we playing security, Sergeant OMB? No, Private. We are not.
No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? Cerberus? They're a problem? I thought we were fighting Reapers, ma'am. Give it a week. You could be. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. <laughs> Outstanding. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Don't be left out in the cold. Ask about our full service warranties. Elkos Combine. If it exists, we carry it. Please visit any of our Elkos Combine affiliate branches Thank for any for and all back. personal needs. My people are still afraid, but they are remembering who they are. I think I know which project you mean, and I've got a Hesperia period statue in bay D-24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. So, what were you able to pull from the inscriptions? Really? Excellent. I knew they'd find something. So, what were you able to pull from the inscriptions? Really? Excellent. I knew they'd find something. Another one. Yeah, the guys in Zakara did too. This time they're safe. From the position yeah. vacated by Counselor Danelle Medina, who died assisting Cerberus in an attempted coup against the Council. Heavy losses are mounting as human colonies Elysium, Two Tree, and Zeus Hull are hit by Reaper forces. Welcome to CASA Fabrication Weaponry. For the best in the business, come to CASA. CASA Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Thank you for shopping at Nosastra for Sporting Goods. Discount. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. We appreciate your visit. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Coming. Clutch is stabilized? Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. You wish to name the first hatch that of the one who helped us? I think that's wonderful. After obtaining a 
cure to the genophage, Krogan leaders have announced an alliance with the Turian military against the Reavers. Major Kaden Alenko, the second human specter, assisted Commander Shepard in preventing Sora's forces from killing the Council. Specter status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay. E24. Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. So, how did I get volunteered to crawl through the ducts? You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn hot in here. Hey, didn't Adam say that all the Normandy is eating? Kenneth, stop right there. Just didn't I tell Joker. He'll get jealous. Kenneth is still installing the thermal conduit down in the crawl space. We'll have a report later. Kenneth is still installing the thermal conduit down in the We're still crawl working space. on the thermal we'll modification. Should be done pretty soon. Are you sure you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a Count's... Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was with Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Don't mind us. Just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. Good to see you. Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medigel delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. Hello, Commander. Do you think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention, though.
You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Surprised this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how. 
Or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart to heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers on their balcony looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Lets me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. The war isn't the only thing keeping me up at night. I wonder about us. Us? I, um... I have feelings for you, Shepard. And I want more. I want to understand what this is between us. And make it real. <sighs> That's what I want. What do you want? I can't bury what I feel for you anymore. And I don't want to. And that makes me so happy. And there are benefits to that happiness. <laughs> but more on that later. Later. We need to get back to the Normandy ASAP. Ah, uh, yeah, too late. Our drinks are here and I'm gonna take my time. What you call it? A sanity check? Mm. Sanity check. One moment, please. Now arrived at Pythidium Embassy. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories. Imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... if you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. 
The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living... Um, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive, and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. After obtaining a cure to the genophage, Krogan leaders have announced an alliance. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it, if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But... Following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Will Falaire be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. What are the other Justicars doing? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? 
Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it, if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But... Following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire, soon enough. Major Caden Alenko, the second human. Hello again, Shepard. Goodbye, Samara. Farewell. Hello again, Shepard. Goodbye, Samara. Farewell, Shepard. Docking Bay E-21. One moment, please. Now arriving at Ward Level Purgatory. How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. Your turn. Counselor Tavos. Hot. But points off for attitude. Shaira the consort. It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. The blue sun's blood pack and eclipse are in my... Is there anything on your mind? I'm sure. Something else? I'm glad we had time to talk. And Shepard, thanks again. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24.
I've got Admiral Anderson on the QEC. Patching him through to you now. Shepard. Admiral, how are you holding up? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge. Clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, dammit. It's yours now. <laughs> I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. You never asked me about this, but my wife just called. My ex-wife. Nobody likes to talk about the toll that long months apart can have on military relationships. She wasn't military. You have she couldn't have message. But it's not even about military and non-military, dammit. It's space flight. Space flight. Finding the mass relays, miracles of engineering. Human imagination rising to meet our desires. We pay a price for that curiosity, that drive. Our relationships suffer. People we love suffer. But that's reality. And it's worth the cost. I must have thought it was. I guess I still do. In the end, you just have to hope you made the right choices. The Normandy? A brand new ship. My ship. You don't forget that moment. The first time you're standing there. The whole crew looking to you for direction. Unforgettable. I've led men and women before that. Seen a lot of combat already. Always managed to find my way home in one piece. Do that a few times, you begin to think you know better than the next guy. Maybe you do, I don't know. But if you're lucky, really lucky, you find yourself on a good ship, in front of a good crew. A crew you can trust with your life. Gifted. Disciplined. Brave. All of them. Eager to set sail into the endless black ocean. I still remember my exo asking what my orders were. Shepard, I said. Let's see what we can find. Away. I 
had met my first Spectre. Learned an important lesson that day. No matter how good you think you are, there's always somebody quicker, faster, and a hell of a lot smarter than you just around the corner. That little lesson's kept me alive more than once since then. ago, I had a chance to sit down with one of Earth's most decorated soldiers, Admiral David Anderson. He was kind enough to answer my questions and talk about his career. Today, the Admiral is on Earth, leading the defense of our home against the Reapers. We have no communication with him or any soldiers on Earth, but we can't forget what they're doing for us. Tonight's show is dedicated to all of the soldiers out there fighting and dying to keep us safe. Admiral Anderson, today marks the 30th anniversary of the N7 program. Can you describe your first day of training in this now famous program? The Interplanetary Combatives Training Program is all business from day one. How so? We're given basic gear. Then... talking about early days right people ask why I joined the military everyone talks about honor duty sure but that's never the whole truth it's a hundred little things that add up to commitment I joined because of a dog yeah a dog this patchy mean son of a bitch that used to bark at me every day on my way to school it snarl and I'd start running get the hell out of me I was just a kid. I remember being in a bad mood one morning. Angry, I can't recall why. When that dog started in on me, I snapped. Started barking right back. We both kept at it until we had nothing left. Dog never bothered me again. Why did I join the military? Hmm. Sometimes you just gotta howl to make things right. combat. First for a lot of us. I remember one night early in the war, 
strapped to my seat as our transport approached the LZ. Everyone was dead silent. Just the sound of breathing. Good men. I trained with all of them. We were always joking and horsing around, but not this time. Just the rattle of the shuttle. And that heavy breathing. Everyone was thinking the same thing. We're off to fight alien invaders. Aliens? Think about that. We all grew up wondering what was out there. If we were alone in the universe. Now we knew. We weren't alone. And we were in trouble. So there we were. About to face an enemy as different and unknown as we could imagine. I knew I had to say something. Keep the men relaxed. So I turned to the soldier beside me, Hendrix, I think, and asked him how his mother was doing. Fine, he said. Why? Because I heard your mama so ugly the Marines thought she was a Torian. Almost shot her. <laughs> I got a few smiles. Then Hendrix turned to me and said, Hell, Anderson, I heard it was a picture of your mama that started this goddamn war in the first place. Scared the Torians shitless. Everyone had a good laugh at that. And the boys fought great that night. Sometimes that's all it takes. A joke, a pat on the back. Just a little reminder that everything's gonna be okay. your new questions here. As a leader, do I ever feel that the ends justify the means? Spirit of law over word of law. I'm not going to touch that with a ten-foot pole, but I think I know what you're after. You're referring to the way I, um, arranged to have the Normandy released to Commander Shepard before the Battle of the Citadel. I'm not sure how valuable hindsight is to the military. Obviously, it worked out for the best. Without the Normandy and Commander Shepard free to do what they needed to do, what we needed them to do, Saren might have taken the Citadel. I think it's clear what a different galaxy this would be if that had happened. I did what I had to. If I had been wrong, I would have gladly accepted the repercussions. The real trick is... never being wrong. <laughs> if you're looking for more action and less philosophy in these notes, let me know.
Tombstone data. Admiral David Edward Anderson. Not sure why anybody would be interested, but thanks for asking. Um... I was born in London, June 8th, 2137. The last of three children born to Ursula and Paul Anderson. A nurse and a flight mechanic, respectively. <sighs> but that's a little dry. And someone's gonna spice this up, right? <sighs> Never been much for the spotlight. Anyway, where was I? It was a second marriage for my parents. They were almost 50 by the time they had me. My mother worked shifts. So my father would often take me to the base. While he worked, I watched transport ships and fighters take off. Worked his whole life around space travel, my father. But he never left Earth. Not for a day. He was a good man. But that's just a side note. Don't put that in. Who is it, Keeley? Uh, yes, I need to take that. I hope this is what you're after. I'll get to the more interesting N7 stuff next time. You asked me to talk about the SSV Normandy, the Normandy SR-1. As commander of the Tokyo, I was consulted on the Normandy's design and on board for her initial training exercises. The average person probably doesn't know that the Normandy was a joint project with the Torians. Acting CEO Eli Zander was no diplomat. She ran out of patience with Torian posturing and politicking during construction. The chief architect of the Drive Corps, Octavio Tatum, and his team of Torian engineers were in the CIC for final training exercises. Tempers flared when Xander pushed the limits of the stealth system, waiting to vent the IES well past what Tatum was comfortable with. I tried to calm the situation, but it still ended with the Torian scientists in shackles and a human Torian fistfight at Cora's den later. Funny now. When I first laid eyes on the Normandy, she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Day after that training run, Admiral Wright found me on the bridge. She's yours, he said. Can't trust her to Xander. Send me a list of crew from the Tokyo you'd like, and prep for your first mission. Short command, thanks to Saren. Still, one of the highlights of a long career.
You asked me to talk about the SSV Normandy. The Normandy. Commander Shepard, your table is ready. 